My partner knocked me up and then he ghosted me. Both my partner and I were 28 when I found out I was pregnant. We had been together for four years. Personally, I didn't want a child. My work was offering potential advancements in my position and I was excited about it, but after a lot of discussions, we decided to move forward with the pregnancy. When I was around 20 weeks pregnant, just after finding out the gender, he disappeared. I couldn't contact him. He wouldn't answer the phone or respond to messages. I became worried and messaged his mother, only to find out that he was living with her again and was overwhelmed by the situation. I, he continued to pay his share of the bills into my bank account each month, but I received no further contact. I even tried it going over to see him, but there was no response. By around 27 weeks, I gave up. I just focused on what I thought would be a future as a single mother. Over the next couple of weeks, I bought everything I needed and set it all up. At 31 weeks, I started having pains, but attributed them to Braxton Hicks contractions. Just before 32 weeks, my waters broke and I went into labor with the baby arriving very quickly. He went straight to the NICU. Less than a week later, my son passed away. Due to complications from the early birth, and I again tried to contact my ex and his mother, leaving voicemails and messages, but there was no response. The next few weeks were a blur, but with the help of my mother and father, his funeral was arranged. They also tried to contact my ex and his mother, but still nothing. I, did. I sent more messages, but there was no response. The next few weeks were a blur, but with the help of my mother and father, his funeral was arranged. They also tried to contact my ex and his mother, but still nothing. I sent more messages, but there was no response. I'm assuming we were probably all blocked, but honestly, at that point, I didn't care. I was so broken, his funeral came and went. It was horribly beautiful. I stopped messaging and told my family not to bother after the funeral had passed. I couldn't deal with it anymore. About five months after his birth and passing, my ex showed up and let himself in. I wasn't at home, but when I returned, he was instantly hostile. The flat was clearly not set up for nor accommodating to a small child. He demanded to see his son. I broke down and told him what had happened. I have never seen him so sad and angry. He stormed out, slamming the door on his way out. Within half an hour, I received a nasty call from his mother, followed by messages from his siblings and other family members. They were furious, asking how I could dare not inform them of something so serious. They accused me of hiding the situation out of petty spite. I truly didn't. I tried, but I couldn't keep trying. It's been nearly three weeks now of them being awful. I, I was speaking to my sister this weekend and she said, to be fair, it was a bit of a jerk move not to keep trying. My dad really chewed her out when he found out what she said to me. She claimed that she didn't realize how much we had tried to contact him and thought it was like when I was pregnant that I had decided not to bother with my husband anymore, just handle everything myself. Honestly, it seems like BS. My sister apologized for what she said and we've spoken a lot about it all. I definitely don't think our relationship is the same but we're okay. I still hear that they're speaking badly about me from friends, but I try to ignore it. I'm still in therapy and I'm trying my hardest to move forward with everything. I visit my son's grave when I can. Thankfully, my ex and his family care so little about more than themselves that they never asked where he is buried so I can do so in peace. I tried so hard to let him know, but I was struggling so much too. I lost my son too. Am I wrong here? Should I have done more?